Welcome to High Anxiety. This is Brandon. Today, we're gonna start over. Welcome to High Anxiety. This is Brandon. Tonight, today. All right, power up your crystals. Welcome to High Anxiety. This is Brandon. Today, we are reviewing the Super Seven Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Dino Megazord. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Dino Megazord. I keep wanting to say Dino Thunder Megazord for some reason. I guess I'm just going to white wing it. It's just coming out that way. But this is the Dino Megazord. Now, um, I have not collected the Super 7 figures, but I do have the Tyrannosaurus Dino Megazord. Nope, Dinozord. The Tyrannosaurus Dinozord. Um, and something to keep in mind, this is not something that Ty would be into because it does not transform. And Ty does not like transformers that do not transform. So there is our Dino Megazord. And then we have the Green Rangers Dragon Zord. So now we're going to welcome the Dino Megazord. And the Dino Megazord is, as I mentioned, this is a non transforming dinosaur robot Zord. Um, but typically what would happen is these arms would get a little too carried away. So these arms right here would uh, fold up and then go into his chest. His head goes forward into the chest and then this opens up and that's kind of like the helmet head. The legs fold up at the joints and then the other dinosaurs would fit in right here. And then this becomes, I forget, I forget, I think it just folds up. But we can see a little better when we get to our Dino Megazord. So we're gonna open this up. And uh, part of me does really wish that this transformed, but the other part of me is like, I really, just love a good looking figure. And I know Super 7 took the time to make this really pretty and beautiful. And I'm uh, not a big Transformer person. So Ty knows this, so don't, don't go tell him. Right off the bat, I'm a little nervous because I only see two hands. And I feel like this is the kind of figure where you would want like some fists, sorry, some fists, some slashes, and then some like holdy hands. And I only see two in here, which is not great. Like I really love when he has like his hands out like that. So we're gonna see what this looks like, but so far, I'm not as happy as I wanna be, especially for something that cost as much as this did. Let's start with our dino coin. This is the all the Zords together. It is pretty heavy and nice. I do have the um, the Dragon Zord one somewhere. They threw in the Yellow Ranger and the Pink Ranger. They're both the same model. Uh, just painted differently, and you can tell because Trini is wearing a skirt. And we all know that Trini did not wear a skirt in the show because it was a man. Um, so the interesting thing right here, though, is that they chose to include the Yellow Ranger and the Pink Ranger. Uh, I have the Red Ranger, I have the Green Ranger, so I don't know where the Blue and the Black Ranger are unless they tied them to that special edition one and I don't like that one so if that's the case I don't know I don't need them they're not very cool it's just kind of cool to see it to scale so when you put it together 
It is very small and very neat, but it's not like aesthetically pleasing or anything like that. Um, so the mastodon, the mastodon head comes off the arms, the, the body of it opens up like this, and it becomes the shoulders for the Megazord. Uh, but the head isn't really used too often, but the head is the shield that he sometimes has. And to be honest, I can't tell you an episode where I know he uses it. Um, but but yeah, it's got some good detail on it. I like the M that's on the, the head. Um, I think for the money, this probably could flex. <laughs> The sword comes down from the sky and sticks in the ground, and then Megazord comes and lifts it up. So here is our sword. Uh, it is pretty weighty and thick. It sounds hollow on the inside, so it's some pretty sturdy plastic put together, but uh, I do really like the size. I think they probably could put some more detail into the gold. Again, for the price, so we do have our two hand holds, and I'll show you those in a minute. So that's it. And that, like, I, I'm gonna say this, this needs to have some very good articulation and poses or else I am going to be sour because this feels like a ripoff right now. Uh, I mean, the Dragon Zord has this great spinning tail great posability I had these hands which are incredible um and i guess i am just kind of getting crappy because i don't maybe this has more accessories i don't know it just feels like a lot for what's in there so he comes in the plastic immediately upon looking at it my eye is drawn to this area and there's a little bit of just sloppy paint application there but nothing that's really going to bother me the arms move surprisingly high and easy, but they stay. Uh, it feels pretty sturdy. So it has our guns in the back. Uh, the dragon tail is supposed, this is supposed to be the dragon tail folded up, and that feels a little small to be honest. Uh, but it has. It has a rocker, but it doesn't really do anything. So am I missing something? Why is this rock a little bit? Is that just broken? It doesn't feel right. It doesn't do anything. I don't know. Um, but the head looks really awesome. Uh, I, I think I am actually pretty excited about this. Um, I wish that they took this into account because there's really no way to do anything right here. I don't know, right when I say I'm, I'm excited, then this happens. There's really nothing you can do to make him walk or pose him. And I get it, but I feel like they should have done something to make that happen. Uh, but the back looks really nice. We have our tread tires. Um, and then this is on a swivel. Uh, kind of loses some of the illusion with the, the heels, the soles on it that are on there, but it does move a little bit. I don't know, man. For the price, this feels kind of get ripped off. I don't know. I really. It just looks good, though. I don't know. I feel. I feel conflicted. I feel conflicted. I really do. Again, I really wish there was like a flat hand on here that I could put on there. I just don't, the, the, the fist just doesn't do it for me. It, it reminds me of the old figures where the, the hands are just like this with the holes in it. And um, I just don't know how I feel about it. I think they could have done more, to be really honest. Uh, and this is going to feel like I'm scratching the paint up. I don't want to do this. Yeah, this is just going to have to stay in here when I take the hand out. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on with me. I do like it. I do think it looks good. And then if you want to put the other hand on, 
which I don't really want to, but there's really not a reason to not have these connected if there's only two accessories and two, two sets of hands. And one of the sets of hands you can't pull anything with, so it just doesn't feel like there's any reason to take this off. Which I guess if you want to take like some custom photos and make it holding something else, that's a different story. But I don't see a reason to take this off. So here he is with the shield. Again, the shield is really not utilized in the show. Uh, it also feels smaller than it should. I feel like the ears are usually bigger. I don't know. But um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean I like it. I think it looks good. I really do. I like the shine of the silver. It looks nice. Um, again, I'm not going to use this. It just doesn't do anything for me at all. But, but this looks nice right here. This looks nice right here. Now uh, let's compare them to both of our Megazords. Sorry, not Megazords. Both of our Zords. So this is the T-Rex who turns into this. Um, it feels like the scaling is off. It is. Um, I'm torn. I'm so torn. This Megazord should theoretically be bigger than this by quite a bit. I'm looking at the thighs and just how thick that is. And then when you get to it here, it's just smaller. Yeah, I'm torn. I'm very torn. This should be bigger. So I guess this should be smaller then. And then this, because this is like roughly the same size. So then you put them together, and then it'd be really cool to have like the giant one with the his his arms go over this, and then it's the dragon Megazord. That was always so cool. We call it the Dino Dragon Megazord. I don't know, um, but yeah. And then you can put your little figures up here. Yeah. So that's the figure. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, like, I, I feel like I'm proud to rate this because I'm not just ranting and raving over it. But I would say that this is a solid eight. A solid eight. Um, it looks really good. It could do a lot more. The posability is just not there. Um, I feel, I do feel like I was, like, duped. And it looks really good. But if I can't really do much posing, then what good is it? For someone who like, like why does this even move even a little bit if i can't really do anything with it that's frustrating but i do love it and i can't help it so it does get an eight from me i think it is a good figure i think 65 dollars or whatever i paid is a little too much I think and I understand Super 7 is a small company and they have to do what they have to do to to get to the consumer but I think this is like a $50 toy max so um, yeah I, if you if you don't if you watch this review and these things don't bother you I'd say go for it for sure I think that there this is really cool I don't regret it like I said I just wish it was a little cheaper um, it, and I don't understand what this rocking at all. I don't understand rocking at all. Um, and then this is kind of like a rubber, so I think it was designed to flex, but it just doesn't. It just doesn't flex. Um, I mean, I am getting more movement than I get out of like the original working one, whose legs are basically just straight down. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. Give us a like, share the video to your nerd friends, um, and just uh, just keep this channel going. We we appreciate the the feedback and the we appreciate it. So just just help us out, and we we love you. Um, so as a change of pace, go go Power Rangers, not Calabunga tonight. Um, but yeah, what do you think of this? I I do like it a lot. I think it's. I think it's great and it will look nice. Um, it'll look nice. It'll look nice myself. So thank you so much. Bye.